Hello, sordery tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander with me blowing you. It's a rapier, it's a sword, so you guys get to fly sordery shit. <laughs> anyway, it's me, Blue Ankylo. We're continuing our bonus series here on the channel. <laughs> we're in Kurosawa. Now, we're only on Kurosawa 1, so this one's not going to be too bad. But uh, this series, uh, I haven't talked about victory points in a while because lately I've just been winning everything. Um, but the, the win requirements for this series are... They're actually not that tight, but they're tight enough that there's, on the second mission, a single victory point that's worth 15 points. In, in according to the stats basically if you miss that doesn't matter how well you do on flights one and three you you fail the series so if you want to win kurosawa you need to do well on one and three obviously but you also need to do a perfect series uh, mission two and that's where things get sketchy we'll talk about that next episode so for now don't worry about that too much just know that this is a very difficult series to complete successfully usually in kurosawa you'll end up going to rostov and then winning rostov and going to venice but we'll see if we can do better. Anyway, we are uh, working our way up the kill board. Lou, how's it going? So here we are in Kurosawa. Kilrathi call it Warakta, they say. Empire is supposed to have several bases on and around the fourth planet. So I guess you boys will be seeing some serious action soon. Still, we're not the first Terran ship here. I heard the Kilrathian system are already half beat. Yeah, we're... If you get to Kurosawa, the story is that we're really kicking butt at this point. Blue, am I glad to see you? I'm going insane to listen to Angel talk about fuel to acceleration ratios. Heard that we're going to raid some fuzzball bases. That'd be great. I haven't shot anything in a week, and I'm starting to get restless. I wonder why he hasn't shot at anything in a week. Hello, Blue. You have a moment? No? The Colonel has directed our crew chiefs to prepare for our rapiers for battle. I had hoped we could have flown them before, more before now. Say la vie. Should you get the chance, let me know how they fly. It is très important. Au revoir, Blue. There's a... Uh, not in this game, but there is a potential romance with Angel and our lead character in the future. So, you know, you should always hang out with Angel when you got a chance. Don't let her die. So here we are, Kurosawa 1, and uh, we got lots of medals on our chest. The most medley of chests. There's probably a few more you could get. You could probably have done... Uh, we, we could have gone to Brimstone with Maniac, which sucks, but there might have been a medal we could have got there without, like, totally screwing over our victory path. You know, there's a couple other missions we could have done, but, you know, we're not going to worry about that. Let's uh, see what we have today for us, Colonel Halcyon. Kurosawa system, sometime in the morning. All right, boys and girls, let's get to work. First, I want to congratulate you all for your efforts at Dakota. Our successes there were crucial to recent developments in the war effort. The Kilrathi advance has been halted. And now the Confederation is on the offensive. Now we're moving on the Kilrathi bases in the Kurosawa system. These bases are vital to Kilrathi command and communication in the sector. The Empire is currently trying to ferry troops and supplies to these bases in a frantic attempt to defend them. I'm sending my best pilots in my best fighters to head off these supplies. The commander assigned several wings, Iceman, Hunter, other useful wings. Theta is especially Vitus, so I'm sending you, Blue, along with, uh, what do you say? Boss Man, I think? We've detected several Kurathi fighters circling two nearby jump points. One Dorker class transport has already jumped in here at 1A. You'll intercept it and destroy it, then move on to Nav 2, where another squadron of Kurathi fighters awaits an incoming sport. When you've taken care of any sports that appear at Nav 2, return to the Tiger Claw via Nav 1B in case there are late arrivals. Questions? Yes, Colonel. Do we have any intelligence regarding the contents of the sports? Nothing definite, Major, but that first dork here is especially well guarded. It must be something or someone the hairballs don't want to lose. If that's all the questions, then let's get into space. Squadron dismissed. So this mission will look a lot like the last one. Um, a double strike, basically, although this might be a triple strike. Um, I think the Raptor was better at strike missions with the, uh, the Mass Driver Neutron Blaster combo. We're flying a Rapier now. We're a little bit less punchy. Uh, full guns will still do a lot of damage, but a little bit less punch. More shields, a little bit more shields, less armor. Not quite as useful missiles. Uh, we do have Boss Man with us again, so, uh... 
I was going to send him back to base immediately, but it's not going to work. Anyway, let's just autopilot over. <laughs> I don't know. Boss man might be okay. I remember him helping out a little bit. Enemy sighted. What do we got? Drowthy. All right. You, uh, boss man, just chill. I was... Never mind. I was going to tell him to hold my wing, but apparently I'm not allowed to. All right. Cover my... What? Hey. Boss man. Keep formation, I said. We're getting a bit of slowdown here. Now, Drowthy should be easy pickings for Rapier. Whether you're Raptor or not, these things aren't very strong. Slowdown's a bit much. Maybe I should speed things up. Let's see if I can kill this ship and maybe speed it up. Man. All right. <laughs> we got a lock. There's a lot of them behind us here. Let me uh, add a couple cycles to the emulator here. I have memory of being able to kill uh, a single Drowthy with uh, two... Oh, he flew right in front of me there. What a jerk. Well, that sucks. Uh, we still have a little bit of armor left, but that was rough. Um, I have memories of being able to kill a Drowthy with two volleys of all hitting. Although, it's a bad approach. Bad approach. But I'm not sure if it'll work in the DOS version. Like, most of my memory comes from the Super Nintendo version. And it's possible some of the stats are different between games. All right, we got that one. One thing that is an advantage here is if we if we get a target at like longish range, like three or four thousand, we can switch to lasers and and take some long distance pot shots. Um, and they do do seemingly pretty good damage at long range for whatever reason. All right, here we go. Well, other than one collision. We're, we're looking good. Alright, no problem at all. Alright, dorkier time. So we're in laser range. Just want to test it out. I generally don't do long range lasers, but that was pretty efficient. <laughs> Just wanted to show off that technically you've got that option. <laughs> Alright, one down. Hey boss man, you want to go back to base? How would you like to go back to base? Negative. Cannot comply. Because he's the boss, man. He, he won't let me boss him around. <laughs> Poor raptor always rapier crashing and stuff. Alright, what do we get at nav 2? Those kind of look like Krantz. Yeah. <laughs> boss man, Krantz returned to base. That's terrible. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fire! No! Boss man! What the crap was that? You gotta stay out of my way, buddy! Oh, <laughs> these wingmen! What are they here for? You send them out, they just die. You keep them on your wing, they just crash into you. Freaking boss man. I'm not going to kill him yet, but that was... I, in fact, I might need him alive for the next mission. I would like for him to go back to base. I wonder if I could just shoot him a couple times so that he's injured. And then he'd go back to base. Careful, Major. Look, I need to be able to see your stats. Return to base. Negative. Cannot comply. Alright, don't talk to me. Stop crashing into me. I'm not even moving. One more. All right, now go home. Turn to base. You don't seem to be... Are you returning to base? You don't seem to be returning to base. Okay. Broadcast freely. Go home. Keep radio silence. 
so I can see your ship. Gonna break his shields again. One more shot. One more shot. Alright, that's that's gotta be enough damage. Broadcast. Go home. Boss man! Don't make me kill you! You killed me already! One more shot. Dang it! I really don't want him to die. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not even sure if this will work. Like, it, it may just be that he will never retreat. And that, in which case, this is all pointless. Alright. Let's try this again. I won't try to send him home. Alright, let's do this. Drowthy are no big deal. As long as boss man doesn't get in the way. We're in so much bullets on the screen that I can't shoot, so... There's no point in jousting with five Drowthy if I can't even fire my guns. I feel like that should have killed him. Boss man? You... What the heck is this? Now, I don't think I took any serious damage, but that was a collision, I believe. Or friendly fire, depending on how that went. Boss man, just... I don't know. I don't know what to do with you. I want you to be helpful. I want you to not kill me and shoot... Sometimes I want him to shoot enemies. I don't really want him to waste his missiles on Drowthy, though. If I need help, I will ask for it. I got lots of shields. I can take that missile, I guess. Good job, Major Ankylo. Just keep formation for now. <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh, allergies are starting to act up. Stop it, allergies. Quit. You're trying to help Boss Man out. My sight is, is limit. This is growing dark. That was that was a good shot there. After after this engagement, I'm gonna have to pause. Can't see what I'm doing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry, guys. Dang it! I was doing so good. This recording session had been off to a really good. Having fun with raptors, you know. Other than that weird music interlude. Oh man, I'm sorry guys, I, I don't know what happens, just every now and then I think, maybe it's just like, it's uh, it's 9 o'clock local time, and the last time I was recording at 9 o'clock, a day or two ago, I think the same thing happened, so I think there's like, must be a tree or a plant or something that just starts, you know, sending its disgusting pollen into the air in the evening, and it just is killing me. Oh man, good time to record because the house is quiet and don't get interruptions, but can't see it's pretty hard to shoot stuff all right i think i'm okay for a little bit longer just might have a few breaks every now and then we're down to one lone whatever you call it drowthy all right he's, he's basically dead you know one thing i think i've been meaning to mention drowthy is in the super nintendo version uh at least in the super nintendo but maybe dos they're supposed to have, um, mines. Porcupine mines. Like the- Whoa! I was way closer to that than I thought. Um. How about you go back to base? <laughs> um. You're supposed- They're supposed to have porcupine mines, which, uh... You can drop behind them, basically. You can you can drop behind you, like a raptor has them. So, in the Super Nintendo version, I remember quite regularly, um... You know, tailing a, a dorkier- Not a dorkier. A drowthy, sorry, man. Trailing a Dal Drowthy getting a good shot where he would drop a mine on me and deal some damage. I think they have them in this DOS version, but I've never been able to see them. I don't, I don't, maybe they don't use them as often, or they just spam them early on and nothing happens because they just get wasted. But anyway. Okay, so hopefully Boss Man doesn't jump right in front of me and kill me this time. What did we have? Three Krantz? It's not even that scary. 
There was a lot of incoming fire last time around. And that resulted in me needing to veer off. You know, I... Oh, uh, there's that missile. Alright, it didn't quite take out my front shields, I don't think. Now, I don't have a lot of shields to, 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 to play Joust right now. I will confirm nothing, boss man. You stay out of the way. Optimally go home. It's fine. That missile didn't even do any damage. Nice. I think the lasers got that guy. Sometimes full guns are, you know, combo effort. All right, that missile took out my shields. Boss man is in the way. Isn't he supposed to be a good pilot? All right, something jumped in. I saw the flash. All right, we're looking good here. Bit of fancy flying there. Oh, he's flying to defend his dork here. Look, he didn't even break my shields there. No, nothing to worry about. I do feel like the rapier is a little bit more touchy with the controls sometimes. Like, uh, aiming with the with the with the rapier can be a little bit harder. I think it turns quicker. At least that would make sense. So it's a, it's a little bit more... A little bit more twitchy, I guess. Would be a good argument for using a... Uh, a mouse or a joystick to, a to aim. Because it'd probably be a little bit... You, know, you, you could turn the sensitivity down a little bit. Boss man, why won't you just go home? Boss man, go home. He refuses to comply with the orders I want. I mean, it's good that he's not, uh, for the most part, shooting me or breaking orders and just breaking and engaging anyway. But um, I'll never forget that one time where I tried to dodge some lasers and boss man just blocked me and killed me. Never forget. Okay, so anyway, the, the idea was clear up nav 1 and 2 and then go back to nav 1A or 1B, I guess. So that's where we're headed. We're almost there anyway, so why bother with autopilot? Uh, what do we got? Jalthy, hey? Jalthy with missiles. But there's only two of them. Gotta be careful not to crash into them. Ooh, that was a laser hit. That was a laser to the face. Let's just let our shields recharge for a second. Try not to get hit by this missile. Missile exploded. All right, got a little bit of damage on that guy. Boss man, freaking worst. <laughs> has anyone flown directly in front of me as much as boss man? Like, I guess maybe that's part of the rapier's fun. It's just it's so agile that you crash into everything all the time. It's it's so maneuverable, you always crash. You can't you can't actually get out of the way. Oh boy, too many shots. Wish I could fire that fast with six bullets at the same time. Okay, another something jumped in. Ooh, get hit by six. Six shooter. Is that is that how the designers came up with the Jalthy? They're like, you know what's cool? Six shooters. You know what's cooler than firing one bullet six times? Firing six bullets at the same time. I could believe it in the 90s. Alright. Down and down. Just don't crash into it. <laughs> Alright, let's just go with uh, lasers. Those long range laser snipes seemed to work pretty good last time. There we go. Oh, boss man, will you go home now? 
I think he was about to crash. Looks like he's almost dead. I wonder how many enemies he crashed into. Boss man, he's only good for one thing. Crashing into enemies and allies. Well, he may have done better if I'd allowed him to break an attack. But, um... I didn't want him to steal any kills. And generally, I find them staying on your wing causes less problems. Less likely for him to die and immediately go home. Or just die and not even go home, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Either run away or die and then I won't have him available for the next mission. So anyway, Kurosawa 1. Supposedly pretty easy <laughs> compared to number 2. Mission debriefing. Welcome back, Major. Let's have your report. Yes, sir. We nailed the Dorkier at Nav 1A. And another at Nav 2. And another at Nav 1B. We've determined that the first Dorkier was a command staff ship, Lou. Blasting that one should cripple their chain of command. Good job. I've read the first flight log of your engagements, Major. You took out 14 fuzzballs. And boss man... Just shaking my head. I'll go over your report in detail later. That's all then. Dismissed. Alright, well, fairly straightforward mission. Not... Other than the one time where boss man killed us. Now, I realize in retrospect, that's all it took for me to kill Maniac and Knight in the past. <laughs> but I really do want to keep boss man alive for the next mission, so I, I couldn't do that. We, we might actually need him to survive Kurosawa 2. Which will be in the next episode. So this is the one where you got to send your thoughts and uh, spirit energy, basically. Thoughts and prayers or uh, spirit energy, whatever you prefer. <laughs> I'll see you next episode. For the impossible mission, Blue Ankylo out. Have a great day.